Hey YouTube, this is White Lightning 67 and today I'm just going to talk about this knife that I've had for a while. It's, it is a SOG Fielder or Feeler. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. Um, I'm no expert knife person. So, all you expert knife people can uh, school me or whatnot or lecture me. <laughs> um, in my opinion, it's a very nice knife. Um, it's it works well. Um, it may not seem very sharp, but I've actually, if you look at my finger there, I found out the other night. <laughs> Uh, but whatever. Um, recently, I've been looking at reviews on them and videos, and it's it seems like there's barely any major hate comments on it. Um, I guess there was some people that had missing screws or whatnot, or there was a uh, yes, yeah, some screws in the pins. And there was some play in it, some loose, it was fairly loose. But, um, other than that, there was nothing really bad about it. Um, now a lot of people were saying they didn't like the, the shiny chrome finish on it. Um, as you can see, it leaves fingerprints. Um, but other than that, it's... A pretty well built good looking knife um, I find it works handy um, it's now and again another comment people were saying was it's for right handers and whatnot and yeah there's I guess uh, I guess there could have been room for another pen but somewhere but I guess they chose not to. Um, oh, and if I didn't mention, it's the feeler or fielder, whatever, uh, XL. So, just wanted to get it right. Um, it's a pretty well sized knife. Um, I think it's. Oh. On my opinion, I think it's about a three and a half, four inch uh, long blade, um, and it's pretty. To, to whoever thinks it's not very big, um, who has never seen it before or doesn't know, um, here's one of my other knives, um, the Mule or Muley. Yeah, Mule or Molly. Again, I uh, can't pronounce it right. You can lecture me in the comments. Um, yeah, it's. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the Mule is uh, about a 5 inch. I think it's a 5.3 inch long blade, so. Uh, maybe it is 3.5 or so. Um, but that's just my gen general opinion on it. Um, I'll get to the mu. I'll make a video about the mule eventually. Um, for anyone who's just interested in that. Um, but yeah, it's a well-priced knife too for a decent size, decent look. Um, it. I got it for about. Thirty-four or thirty-six dollars on Canadian Tire, and um, again for, and some people have said you know, well, I've even seen thirty-four dollars for a knife that's actually fairly cheap, but really it's for a cheap price. It's a well-built knife. Um, I honestly for. That price and the way it's built, I have no complaints at all. 
It's again looks nice. It's nice chromey finish on it. Um, it's got the nice wood. Feels like real wood to me. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what it's really made of. Whether it's stainless steel or whatever. I'm again. I'm no. I'm no knife person. Um, now one thing I was just found out recently was you get your name engraved on these and um, I I don't know where you get your name whether it's on the blade or they put it on the wood you can tell me you can, that's another thing you can tell me in the comments um, but yeah other than that I'd say that's kinda like the perfect pocket knife I I use it all the time. I'm, I always have it on me. Um, and yeah, that's just about it. Tell me what you think in the comments. And uh, like and subscribe if you want. Thank you.